Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So I actually lost my intro, so uh, long story short, we're at the Broken Yoke to their Iron Man Omelette Challenge in Las Vegas, and now I'm going to hand it over to a legend to tell us a little bit more about it. Their 12 egg Iron Man Omelette Challenge, there are 34 locations all around the United States, but the original one is down in San Diego. This challenge was featured on Man Vs. Food many years ago, San Diego. Adam Richmond was able to complete the challenge. We've got pretty much a 12 egg omelette, all fresh, real eggs, and then this omelet is filled with some healthy vegetables. We've got onions and mushrooms, a lot of shredded cheese. There's even more on top with all this delicious chili. And then there's like 12 to 16 ounces, about one pound of their home fries. And then we have these two massive biscuits. So I've got one hour to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be around $34. But if I win, I'll get the meal free. I'll get another sweet t-shirt to add to my collection. Thank you very much, Randy. So yeah, that let's uh, get to the rest of the challenge. Alrighty, won. so the challenge has arrived. I uh, just flipped the omelet open to let it cool off a little bit. We have Mr. Derek right there, one of the three winners in the back. We have Blaine behind Raina's head. Oh, there this is hat, Blaine. We also have Brandy, Heavy D's girl. Definitely check all them folks out. Then of course, Miss Raina. So yeah, it looks really good. It's a pretty massive challenge. They definitely told us they're gonna make this big for us. They definitely did. So. Just let it cool off, which really good. We'll get started. All right, so let's get started. Count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. That's tasty. It's just very hot. All right, everybody, and now officially, I'd like to welcome you to the challenge. I'm not sure where the intro went, so thank you, Randy, for doing that intro for us. But yeah, to kind of go over everything real quick, so we're at the Las Vegas location of the Broken Yoke, which is a uh, breakfast cafe. Um, they have locations all across uh, America, but especially in kind of that California area, there's like tons and tons of them. Um, so we had one hour to complete this challenge. If not, it was about 30, 35 bucks. Um, overall record stands at something like two or three minutes by Molly Schuyler. So very, very, very fast. And uh, each location like has their own record. So they each have like a wall of fame and they each keep track of their own record. It's very hot. Very, very hot. Here, the three individuals who had completed the challenge at Las Vegas location were um, Michelle Lesko, Mickey Sudo, and Derek, uh, Mr. Heavy D, um, but sitting behind me there. So three very uh, distinguishable names, and besides that, nobody else had completed it. Um, the interesting thing with these omelets is there really is no like standard, like they're supposed to be, but it, they absolutely vary. Like uh, Raina has done this challenge like maybe five or six times at different locations. Uh, Matt Redder, Mr. Freak Eating has done this challenge, I would say probably like 20 times, and not, no location ever does it the same. For example, there have been times where the omelet comes out at like four pounds, and then there's times where it comes out at like literally 10. Like it's just, it's the egg or the omelet portion I imagine is always the same because it's a 12 egg omelet. However, it's the amount of mushrooms, the amount of um, chili, the amount of cheese, and the amount of those home fries that they really kind of mix and vary it up. Um, in addition to all those, you had those great big biscuits. Um, they were definitely big. I mean, they're like way bigger than my fist, like the size of softballs. Um, you know, as well, um, we had some pico de gallo and stuff on the side, but otherwise, otherwise than that, I think it's pretty, you know, pretty straightforward. It's maybe about two and a bit minutes in. So I thought the overall challenge tasted pretty good. Um, essentially, the main flavor on that omelet was coming from the chili, so I actually wouldn't have minded a little bit more of the chili. Um, and then the, I mean, the eggs, the omelet is pretty basic, then the cheese is pretty basic. The mushrooms don't add too much. Um, obviously, the fries don't add too much either, but you know, having that little bit of that pico de gallo, some ketchup would have been really nice. Um, but again, also, like I said, pretty much the chili adding that flavor. Yeah, there's cheese and stuff as well, but not overly, overly flavored. You could definitely um, add a few more items to spice it up a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. One hour, eat the omelet. We had a bet between Derek and Brandy going back there about an over or under 10 minutes for um, if I was to complete it, how fast I would do it in. Um, so, I mean, there's $20 on the line there, so we'll have to tune in to see who um, gets that money, if anybody gets that money at all. Um, so at that, if you guys like omelets, let me know down below. In fact, let me know your favorite breakfast food. And uh, I think, you, well, I don't know, maybe I'll let you think about if you can guess mine. 
Um, but we'll like, get to the rest of the video here, everybody. I figure ours was definitely mm, minimum seven, if not eight pounds. Um, ours was, again, I think kind of in the middle between like, the locations, or even the staff was talking about um, how they were shocked, how online they see such a variation in the size of the challenge. So let's say ours were between seven and eight pounds for our omelets. Um, that's including the biscuits and everything. So yeah, I'll let you get to the rest of it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully me and Randy can get some wins and uh, you know, let's just ride it out. YOLO. Just shy of five minutes. Very tasty, very delicious. Raina's doing really well. Now just got some biscuits left, basically. It was seven minutes, 30 seconds, I think, right on the dot. So it was very delicious, very tasty. Nice little crowd here. We got everybody cheering us, watching. Quite a little in entertainment with everybody's dinner. Raina's still doing really well. So that's, we'll watch her finish up. And we got a new record for this location. I also had Derek and Brandy betting cash. It was either at over 10 or under 10. So I just won Derek 20 bucks. Sorry, Brandy. 
About 11 and a half minutes in, Raina's still doing really, really well. She literally done just about uh, two handfuls of fries and then one biscuit. Actually, that's a good idea to mix the biscuits in. Probably adds a little bit more lubricity to it. I really like the omelet though. I thought the omelet was delicious. Like, the chili part or whatever, I like that. Okay, I got literally like a handful left. Thank you. What's the size you guys have? Uh, you have one size only? Okay, cool. Thank you. I finished the broken milk. Can I hold it? Hold it. I got a t-shirt. It says, I finished. It's an Iron Man special. The Iron special. Where in the heart? Yeah, she's doing well. Close to it. <laughs> Right. We're good. Yeah. Is, this, is this okay? I think so. <laughs> I don't see why not. Alright, cool. Like, Alright. And they declared Rena a winner as well. So just, I don't know, maybe like 19 something minutes, just under 20 minutes. So good job, Raina. So with that, we both got t-shirts, meals for free, no complaints. So my first time doing the Broken Yolk Iron Man omelet challenge. I really liked it. Raina, maybe not so much, but with that, everybody, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and viva Las Vegas. Officially in New Mexico, the land of enchantment. Woo! New Mexico! First time in New Mexico. New Mexico. Just this for miles and miles and miles. And yes, the truck is included because that's all you're seeing. Trucks and fields of kind of almost desert. Wow, there's a rural cow there. That's kind of interesting. So we stopped for a pee break in uh, here in New Mexico. So I'm gonna show you the wildlife, what the uh, ground looks like here in New Mexico, just in case we don't stop again before I pee. So as you can see, we have lots of dirt and sand and more dirt and small little dry bushes. Uh, here's some half dried up dying trees. Looks like a fire hazard. There's some wild cactuses, which look less plump and juicy and drier than the ones in uh, Texas. I mean, we very well could see rattlesnakes and scorpions. So I'm gonna watch my feet and not die, um, preferably. But yeah, besides that, this is what New Mexico looks like. It is 111 degrees out right now. So it's nice and warm also. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So this is what New Mexico looks like. This is literally what I would best exemplify New Mexico has, which kind of makes sense because it's known to be deserts and stuff. There's a big desert hilly mountain thing, so. Welcome to New Mexico, y'all. My first time touching the ground of New Mexico. So we finally got moving again. We were just stuck in traffic for two hours on Route 66, also known as the Highway to Hell, the number one most stolen sign in the world, I think, or at least in North America. So yeah, we're back, moving, finally. That was a long, long stop. How do you feel about it, Reina? Oh my god, it was terrible. Was, at least we had AC, that's the good thing. At least we're in the car, comfortable in the AC, otherwise that would've been so bad, because it is like 110 degrees outside. It's very true, and we're in desert. Blaine? It was just a dream. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> oh. Blaine was asleep. I, I tried to fall asleep. I think you're snoring at some point. Oh, nice, fall asleep. Fall asleep. I would hell to call that for a reason. And around Albuquerque, there's more green and mountains and stuff, so a little bit more lively here in this part of New Mexico. And 
officially in Arizona. So it's kind of dark, so I won't really be able to show you Arizona too well, but this is my first time in Arizona, so officially I am in Arizona. This is what Arizona looks like at kind of sunset, whatever else it is. So, yeah, all right, let's see what this sign says. It says, Holbrook, Flagstaff, and Petrified Forest. Oh yeah, that was at my uh, cousin's office, Petrified Forest National Park. That'd be cool to go to next time.